In this video, we're going to learn to create a new page, add a theme, and create a banner. We're going to start out in our Spark homepage. To create a new page, navigate to the blue plus sign button in the top left corner. When you click the button, you'll see many options such as various posts and video, but we're going to select new web page. What you're looking at now is what we'll call the page banner. When we're done, it will include a photo, ideally a photo of yourself in professional clothing that includes your head and shoulders, a title, and a subtitle. In the title, we're going to use James's name since this page is about him. Simply click and type. For the subtitle, we're going to write something like financial services professional. This is where you're going to advertise what industry you're in or are studying in. Now we're going to add the photo. When you click the add button, Click photo and a menu will open on the right side where you can either upload a photo from your device, search through photos from Unsplash, which is a source of free photography, or use photos from other sources such as Adobe Stock, Creative Cloud, Lightroom, and more. Choose to upload a photo from your device and navigate to the folder we downloaded in the previous video. Select the file called one-banner-main and upload it. The next step is to adjust the focal point of the image. Click on the photo and select focal point. For this image, it's not bad to start out with, but we're going to adjust it by clicking the circle and dragging it around the page so that more of his face is on screen instead of his upper body. In the top right corner, you'll see a small rectangle that says portrait. This is something to keep in mind while you're adjusting the focal point. Whatever you see there is how the photo will look on a standard mobile device. Now that the banner content has been added, we'll select a theme. In the top right, click on Themes to open the menu. When you select each one, the page will update. It's good to try them all out on your own portfolio to determine which looks best with the banner, and then continue to style the portfolio, keeping that theme in mind. For James, we're going to select Baldwin. Simply select it and then click Themes again to close the menu. Keep in mind you can change the theme at any time. Finally, we're going to reposition the banner text. Click and drag the text into a position that works best. For James's portfolio, I'm going to drag it to the bottom left side or middle left so it doesn't blend in with his jacket. In the next tutorial, we'll learn how to add an introduction section 